I work with a lot of organizations in the nonprofit sector, like charities and churches, and basically all of them want to set up donations on their website because why wouldn't they? This is their online presence. How else are they going to get donations? So all the time they say, Sam, okay, one of the main requirements for our website is we need a place for people to donate easily. And luckily, Squarespace allows us to do this easily. They have a full donation system and donation blocks that we can add onto pages. So I'm going to show you how to set that up now. So you want to set up donations on your website. First, we want to create a space to take donations. Now I'm going to set up a new page. So we click plus in the main nav, or you can do it in not linked, it's up to you. Then go into page layouts, and I'll just put something from general in. So we'll stick this in, and we'll call it donations. Now we click into edit, and we're going to say, please, oh, I can't spell, please donate to our cause. There we go. And then underneath there, make a bit of space, we're going to add a block. And then we're going to search for donation, which is here. And then what we can do is just align this underneath. So pop that there. And then you can see it's got a lock on. So basically, you need a professional plan or higher because this is a, a, a premium block. And basically, a professional plan is what 90% of Squarespace websites should be because there is a, a basic plan, but that doesn't really allow you to have much, to be honest. So this is fine. You don't have to go onto this super high plan. Professional is just standard. So don't worry about that. Anyway, this is what it looks like. You can switch the design, not too much. It's just basically the alignment. But then the content is where we go a bit deeper. So you can set your donation amounts and you can actually change the label. So let's just call this bronze, silver. We'll do gold. And then hundreds can be platinum. So we can give it our names. And then you can add as many as you want. And if you need to get rid, just do that. And you can also change the amounts. So let's just say bronze is maybe $5. And if you want to change the order of them, you can just drag like this after clicking edit. And once you're happy, just hit done. They are our donation amounts. Now we can change the button text. So let's just say we can change that to donate here. Not that that makes too much difference. Then we can also add a title onto the page itself. So let's just say donate to a great cause and then a description. So let's just add some lot of mips in. Lot of mips in, blah, blah, blah. That'll do. I'm sure that's going to get donations. Anyway, so you can add your description, tell people about exactly what they're donating to, and then you can add some form fields. So basically, Adding these form fields means when someone clicks on this, they're going to be greeted with a pop-up form. So you want to ideally take their name required and then let's grab their email. We'll make that required. And then we'll say text area, message, optional. And you can add whatever you want in here. I'm just spitballing. So we'll say because that's optional, we don't have to click required and then okay we're happy with that so click exit and you can see our donate button is set up so the next thing that we need to do is set up our payment processes so what we do is we go into selling and then payments so we click into payments and then we want to connect at least one of these so i'm going to go ahead and connect stripe just click connect and that's going to prompt you to sign in so i'll do that now and then we'll come back once it's connected Okay, now that's done. You can see we've got the green pill here that says connected. Now we're gonna go back to the form and see how that's looking. Okay, now we can see we don't have that prompt anymore, so we should be good to go. The last thing that you wanna do, if you wanna do it, is edit donation receipt. So you can click on this, but it doesn't actually take you anywhere, which is a bit of a weird glitch, but I'll show you how to get there regardless. So if you click it and it says, this will take you to donation receipt email settings, click okay. And it doesn't take you anywhere. So to do this, what you want to do is go into settings and then you want to go down to selling here. Now within selling, you want to go to cart and checkout, then hit checkout and then you can go down to receipt details. So you can change all these here. You can either toggle or untoggle them completely up to you. 
hit save, go back to checkout, and then if you want, you can change how the checkout page looks. So click on this, and you can actually style how that checkout page looks. Now, this is for a different video, but just so you're aware, that's how you get to it. Now, if we go back, that should all be set up. Now, what's annoying is that until you actually take out the subscription, you can't test the donate button. So if I was to make this window bigger, it disappears. So for you to actually do a test run, you need a paying subscription, which is a shame, but if you've gone through those steps, it, it will be set up. But because I want to show you an example of it in practice, I'll take you over to a client website and show you how it works on theirs. So this is Providence Jewelry Museum. This is a client of mine. If I go to give and then donate now, you can see that we've got the donation page. So this is what it looks like for a donor. I'm going to pop in my email and you can have the option to sign up for news and updates in there. Continue. And then you can see we've got all of these donation amounts. Also, people aren't just confined to what you set. These are just suggestions. So they can actually donate whatever they want. So let's say just $100 for now. Continue. Taking the payment info. And then after that, you've got additional information. Review and donate. And then it's done. They will get an email notification. You will get an email notification. And then the donation will go to either your Stripe or your PayPal account. And that is that. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.